Welcome to Electron Line. Next, we'll talk about the thrust bearings. Now, thrust bearings are different in that they're being pushed into the housing, and it's a force that keeps them in place in such a way that when the bearing rotates, it's the end surface that causes friction to exist between the bearing and the housing. Now, notice it could be a solid surface if the bearing itself or the axle itself is solid, and it can be a hollow axle and so therefore we can see that the only surface touching the end here is this surface on the outside and then the center here is hollow. We could also have a thrust bearing that has a sleeve attached to the axis in such a way that you can push the axis through an opening but then it's prevented from going any further by the sleeve. Now as the axle rotates it's the surface of the sleeve that's causing the friction to exist and it kind of looks like a hollow axle like this where you have an inner and outer radius and it's only this portion of the axle, the sleeve portion, that actually causes the friction to exist as the bearing rotates. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to calculate the friction that exists by multiplying the coefficient of friction and the forces with the surface area that's actually making contact. And we'll show you how to do that in the next video.